height. Here also we have one more pattern. We have to find the logic and we have to write it in generalized format. So what is the first step in finding the logic behind any number pattern? Yes, find the differences. So 4 minus 2 gives us 2 and then third term is 8 minus the second term which is 4 gives us 4 right and fourth term is 14 minus the third term which is 8 gives us 6 right and then we have 22 as the fifth term minus the fourth term which is 14 this gives us 8 and the sixth term which is 32 minus the fifth term which is 22 will give us 10. Yes, it is very simple. The logic is very simple. In this particular pattern, the difference is increasing in even numbers. Right. So, you got the logic. So, we can very well find out the next terms. So, what will be the next term? Next term will be 32 plus 12 that is 44 and then we will have 44 plus 14 this will give us 58 right and the term after 58 will be 58 plus 16 right because 16 is the next even number after 14 so this will give us 8 plus 6 14 1 carry forward 1 plus 5 6 plus 1 7 74 okay so what will be the next three terms after 32 they will be 44 58 and 74 right we have found the next three terms of the pattern now what about the generalized form of this pattern? Yes, that is also very easy. What it is? T1 is equal to 2, right? And what about Tn? Tn is equal to, if you are finding the second term, you are adding 2 to the first term. Isn't it? This was the first term. Plus 2 was giving us the second term, right? And second term plus 4 was giving us third term right so how to write it this 2 is actually the first even number 4 is the second even number 6 is the third even number and 8 is the fourth even number and 10 is the fifth even number right and first even number 1 multiplied by 2 isn't it second even number is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 and what about the third even number it is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 first even number was 2 second was 4 and third even number is 6 similarly fourth even number is actually equal to 4 multiplied by 2 which is 8 isn't it yes so now can you tell me how to write the nth term? See, when we are finding second term, we are adding first even number to the first term, right? And when we are finding the third term, we are adding the second even number to the second term, isn't it? And when we are finding the fourth term, we are adding third even number to the third term, right? So, when we find the nth term, what will we do? We will add n minus first term to the n minus first even number, right? n minus first even number will be 2 multiplied by n minus 1, isn't it? And we have to add the n minus first even number to the n minus first term to get nth term 